But look what we found. Yummy. Hey, welcome back to the channel. We are out here at the farm and it's the days of day. We wanna pick a nice hot day to come out here and cut up this big tree. And we're gonna to try to run as much of it through the wood chippers we can uh, to make organic uh, mulch. But look what we found. Yummy. Have no idea what brand of snake this is, but look what we found there. So we know they're around. Most of our snakes around here are non-poisonous, like grass snakes, garter snakes, but there are copperheads. And so we need to make sure that we pay attention to that. And hopefully I'm not straddling one right now. We're gonna go ahead and try to figure out, this, this tree is off the ground on this side. Uh, this limb is holding it up here. So whenever we cut it, it's gonna wanna plop down. This part up here is basically maybe half of it. It has, one side's rotted out, but it's so big that the other side probably has some decent lumber in it. Uh, probably be some spalting or spalting, spalting. Anyway, we'll see what, what it looks like, but uh, we just need to get it cleaned up. We got the big, the, the new big saw out here. Got to tighten the chain up on it. So if you guys have not seen this, I've got another video out. This is the uh, Neotech. It's a 92cc uh, chainsaw with a 36 inch bar on it. I'm running a, uh, a skip tooth, 25 degree, 3 8 inch chain. Uh, it's got, uh, I think it's a .063 width on the chain. And it absolutely is ripping this stuff up until I just dip the nose of the saw into the dirt. So I don't, I'm gonna check my sharpness real quick. I didn't get in the dirt very bad. I believe this saw, or this tree is gonna just collapse down right here, the way it looks. That was snake bite me in the butt. I'm sure after all this saw, every snake around here is gone. So, I gotta make this in a manageable size to take away with the trash room. This piece right here has got a big crotch and it's gonna be heavy, so I'm probably gonna drop it right here. Can we not put like chain around it and then drag it? Uh, it's possible and we may have to do that. All I wanna do, is, we're, probably worst case scenario on this piece, we're gonna get it to that, that little gully and knock it off in there. So this will be here for years, not that long, cause popper will rot, but I'm glad we cut it down because this is really, really sickly right there. Remember, I about those bees there. Yeah, yeah. There's uh, there's wood bees. Wood bees are not very aggressive.
loud. to get some of this moved out of the way and just kind of work our way up through the big stuff. Yeah, this is uh, gonna have to have the big red on this. This is some monster stuff. I don't know, we'll try a little Rufus, see how he does. I know that saw is bad to the bone. I like it. For a homeowner slash homesteader, first impression, that dude is rocking. It's got more power than uh, it pulls through that, that skip tooth is ro just rolling through this stuff. We are trying to clean this big mess up. This is a, a bunch of small trees and a 42 inch at the base, uh, old growth poplar that was struck by lightning. We are uh, going through this, sorting it out. We're gonna try to make as much organic mulch as we can. The, the drawback, this chipper has been really good. However, it doesn't like the little bitty scrappy vine stuff. It seems to clog it up all the time. So it, you can go full size, like four inches, and it does great. But the little stuff clogs it up. So I just had to clean it out real quick and get it unclogged, but I think we're in good shape right now. But instead of trying to run through all that, we're gonna take all this little stuff and go throw it in the gully. Let's get to it.